guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brie, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a deep condition with me. So today, I'm going to be doing a DIY um, protein treatment. So I did do a video um, on how I make this. So in this video, I'm not going to be showing you how to make this, but I'll leave the video in the description box with the details on how to make this. But it's super duper easy. All you need. Um, this is what it looks like, by the way. I don't know. So basically, what's in here is just one egg, about two tablespoons of mayonnaise, and some olive oil. So basically it's just um, an intensive protein treatment. So um, I would recommend to only do this once a month um, because it's very intense and to do it more than once a month would just be too much in my opinion. So yeah, my hair has just been kind of like shedding a lot lately and usually my hair does not shed that much. So that's how I know that my hair does need um, an intense protein treatment because my hair just needs a little bit more TLC and um, so this is going to make it nice and strong. So this is going to make my hair nice and strong and um, basically help s stop that shedding because I do moisturize my hair a lot so I know it's not because of moisture that my hair is shedding. I know it's because um, my hair just needs a little bit more protein. So I'm going to need a towel because this is a very messy um, deep conditioner so I'll be right back. So you're basically just going to need a towel and some scrunchies. So my scrunchies here. So I'm just going to put, just go by sections. Um, you don't have to use olive oil. Um, you can use whatever oil you want, like coconut oil, avocado oil, almond oil. But um, I just decided to use coconut oil. But if you want to do two oils, you can. It's completely up to you. So I'm just getting some of this. It's very watery. So this stuff doesn't smell good. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this overnight because it's so intense and your hair is going to feel so hard and extremely like um, stiff afterwards. But make sure you get it on the ends because that's the part that is really needs it the most because the, the ends are what's breaking off. So I'm just smoothing this into my hair. Um, but yeah, like I said, once a month, um, I'm probably going to leave this in probably for like about 15 minutes to an hour. I would say I wouldn't leave this on for anything less than fi for anything less than 15 minutes, um, depending on how I feel, but I think I'm going to leave it in for probably 30 minutes or so, um. But yeah, this stuff works really good. I've been using this deep conditioner for years. Um, I don't use this monthly. I only use this when I feel like my hair needs it. And this is definitely one of those times. So, oh my gosh, this stuff is going to spill on me. So. So yeah, my ends desperately, desperately need this. So yeah. Can you guys see? So this is what it looks like on, um, and when you rinse this out, you're going to want to um, rinse it out with shampoo. Do not um, use just water. You're going to need shampoo because this stuff, it's egg in your hair. You're going to need shampoo to get it out. Once you shampoo your hair, the smell and everything goes away, so you, you don't need to worry about that. Um, if you have long hair, um, like longer hair than mine, like my hair it reaches to my armpit, so I only need one egg with the hair that I have, but if you have longer hair, then I would suggest maybe using two eggs. But for me, one egg um, is more than enough, and I still have some left over with one egg. So, um, but yeah, if you definitely have like longer hair than I do, then I would say to use two eggs. But what I really love about this deep conditioner, let me put something underneath me because one of the things that I really like about this deep conditioner is that um, the ingredients are, everyone has these ingredients in your house. They're so easy to find. So like an egg, most people have an egg in their fridge. Most people have mayonnaise and everyone has at least one oil that they can use in their hair accessible to them. So that's why I really like this deep conditioner. And yes, so I really wanted to wash my hair today because 
my hair is just not looking its best right now and my hair needs to be redone so I thought it was the perfect time to um, do this egg treatment because the last week when I did my hair my hair was like not in a good place so and then after you shampoo on this out of your hair you're gonna want to follow up with a conditioner and then a moisturizing deep conditioner because this stuff has a lot of protein in it and to balance off um, the protein you're gonna need to use something moisturizing um, and then deep condition with something moisturizing so make sure that the um, deep conditioner that you use is not a protein deep conditioner um, so anything that has keratin in it um, anything that says has an egg protein in it um, Anything that says strengthening most likely has some type of protein in it. So use something that says moisturizing, use something that says nourishing, use something that says hydrating. So if your deep conditioner has any of those words, then that means that it is a moisturizing deep conditioner. And you're going to want to leave that moisturizing deep conditioner on for at least 30 minutes, I would say, and then follow up with moisturizing um, styling products just because this stuff is like I said it's a it's a heavy um, protein treatment but after you rinse this off um, it's like immediately you can feel that your hair is um, instantly stronger so that's what I like about this is that you, you see immediate results so if you haven't tried this I do recommend this um, and if you are um, I don't think anyone should use this more than once a month Especially if you're protein sensitive. I'm not, but still I wouldn't use this more than once a month. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just sectioning <clears throat> my hair off and then making sure that I get this on my ends as well as um, evenly distributing this throughout the entire section and making sure not to miss any... Um, Parts. So I think I don't have anything left to say, so I'm just going to um, see you guys. I'm going to just speed it up with some music and all that stuff and then see you guys when I've put more in my hair. What's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go away I'm tired of the Okay guys, so... Um... I basically got like this much done but I still have this piece left and this huge piece and I have none left usually one egg in like the uh, measurements I just told you guys is usually enough for my entire head and I usually have like leftover so I'm definitely gonna go have to make another batch really quick and then I'll come back but um, I would just say try one egg and see how much you can how much hair you can get covered with that amount but so strange because usually that's more than enough for me so I guess my hair is just really thick and it has grown since the last time I did this so I don't know but but yeah try one egg first and then yeah and you'll see where you have to go from there but I'm gonna have to go down to the kitchen and make another batch of this and I'll be back um, when this is all fully applied applied to the rest of my hair okay so that's pretty much it it's been <clears throat> absorbed I mean it's been applied to my whole hair so I'll show you guys what it looks like in my hair if 
All right, I hope you guys can see that. So I definitely can feel the oil also that I added, which is good. Um, I kind of want to add some Jamaican black castor oil, so I'll be right back. So this is the oil that I'm going to be adding. This is the Sunny Isles Jamaican black castor oil. So I'm just going to be adding just a little bit. I'm just going to like add that to my ends. And then just to the rest of my hair, to my edges, and then try to get my scalp. So, so I'm just going to leave this in. I'm going to put a plastic bag over my head, and then I will come back once it's finally rinsed out to let you guys know how my hair feels. And I will see you guys in a second. Guys, yeah, so I just rinsed out the conditioner the deep conditioner the protein treatment and this is what my hair is looking like so i hope you guys can see that so basically my hair feels very rough right now um partially i feel like it's because i only shampooed my hair i haven't put the conditioner in yet um, and also it's because of the, the protein treatment. Your hair is going to feel rough, but your hair is going to be um, much stronger than it was when before you put this in. I actually left this on for like an hour and a half, I would say. So yes, I'm very happy that I did this because my ends needed it badly. There was a lot of shedding um, happening and stuff like that. So if you're experiencing, if you're experiencing a lot of um, shedding and stuff, I do recommend this protein treatment. Again, if you want more of a detailed on uh, how to make it, I'll leave a link in the description box um, to the video where I show you guys how to make this. But yeah, so I'm gonna go style my hair following up with a moisturizing deep conditioner. I'm also gonna use regular conditioner before I deep condition and just detangle my hair and then I'm just gonna do my hair as usual. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate I really appreciate your support If you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell So you'll be notified every single time I upload a video and thank you guys so much um, I'm currently at 210 subscribers and I'm so excited and happy my channel is growing and I thank you guys for all your support And I'll see you guys in my next video